It was a nice, quiet, snowy day. I raised the drone, tried to tilt down, make a film we shoot. Oops! Damn. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to the channel. If you are flying DJI, you probably already know what went wrong in the shoot. The DJI remote controller decided once again ruin my shoot. The problem is that DJI used the gimbal wheel to control the camera tilt down and tilt up. But the design is that when you use your index finger push the wheel, supposedly in my mind that push will going make the camera tilt down. Uh, and when you pull, it will make the camera tilt up. But the design of this remote controller is completely reversed, or my mind is reversed, I don't know. So I was doing some research and going into all the forums and uh, see the discussion. Actually, the problem already happened like a couple years ago. And DJI obviously already know that, but up to now, they still don't have the firmware fix for the problem. So the gimbal wheel design is probably just a potential meter inside and uh, providing some uh, control information to the remote controller and then hopefully there's some wiring inside we can reverse and make the push to tilt down the camera and pull, pull to tilt up the camera so I'm, I'm going to open up the remote controller today and see what's inside A very nice remote controller, feels very good in your palm. So my first thinking is that there's some screws underneath the pad, probably. Let's just open it up. But seems nothing there. Take a look at the joystick storage. There seems like two very small screws there. Take those out. And probably good idea to also remove the rubber. There may be something also underneath the uh, cell phone holder. I also try to cut it out. Yeah, there's a screw there. Very, very tiny schools. There is another one in this side. I'm also trying to remove this cell phone pad, but probably you can leave it there. and the pad doesn't really cover the edge. So right now you just need to slowly work out all the edges clip. Uh, there are lots of clips at the, around the edge, so you need to work out all four sides.
you can probably put something hold opened area and work on other edge. There you go. Let's see what's inside. Okay, there are two uh, wire plug for the joystick on the upper plug of the cover. Remove it. That's pretty much it on the upper part. The joystick and two buttons. Yeah, the gimbal wheel is just a part. And to remove it, first need to take out this, uh, I don't know, kind of a heat sink. Remove the screws. Hmm. Yeah, seems like just some thermal paste. So mentioned the pop uh, is 2.8K on one side, 1.5 in the middle, 2.8 on the other side. So yeah, seems like Directly measure at the port pin, get the same results. 1.5K, 2.8K. So they're just simple wiring probably. There's three tracks screw that holds the uh, small PCB on the case. Take it out. Yep, the PCB just traces from the connection to the pop. So interestingly, the center pin of the pop is actually connected to the side black wire. The two side pins of the pot are connected to the other black wire and the center white wire. So if you want to reverse the port's connection, just need to uh, reverse the two pins on the wire. The small connector wire hooked up can be uh, taken out from the connector itself and just put it back so you don't need to really cut it and resolder. It's very, very tightly connectors though. So put it back, reverse the connection. Talking back to the motherboard. And yeah, connection seems to be okay. Still there. Okay, assembly back.
Okay. Looks like. Hopefully it's still working. This is the uh, original one that if you can see when you pull it actually tilt down, push, tilt up, pull again, tilt down, push the wheel, tilt up. That's the original design. The modified remote controller needs some uh, recalibration. Just follow the app. Pretty easy design. So shift all the joystick to upside, right side. Yeah, both joysticks. And the uh, gimbal wheel push pull done. Now this is the new remote controller. Push till down, pull till up. Push again till down. Pull, till up. Very good. I was hoping DJI can make the option in the app to let you choose in the firmware what's your preferred way to control the tilt. But unfortunately, have to go the difficult way to open up in the hardware modification. Anyways, if you like video, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you next time.